Will the Model 3 get cheaper in 2020? The short answer is probably, just statistically, if we look at what Tesla has done with the Model 3 ever since they started delivering it, they've always been updating things. They're not the type of company that just introduces a new make of a car every single year. They just kind of update them when they see fit, whether it's removing the mid-range battery or introducing standard range or removing standard range and introducing standard range plus. They do all kinds of stuff with the lineup. So more than likely, they're gonna be doing something with the Model 3 this year, especially when we have confirmed reports of Tesla switching to prismatic battery cells at the Chinese Gigafactory 3, probably once they start rolling that out and seeing how people react to it and seeing how the performance is delivered on in the real world tests, it may make its way into the United States versions of the Model 3 as well. And there's also a ton of other stuff that they've probably learned along the way. It's been a long time since production hell, but now that we've seen the mainstream production with the Model Y so easily and they've had to in many ways re-engineer the unibody product process that the Model 3 had a lot more reliance on autonomous bots originally and then slowly moving towards manual labor. But my guess is that Tesla has learned a lot from manufacturing and are now proving what they can do in a more efficient manner with the Model Y. And I think in time, they can take a lot of these Model Y production techniques and bring it to the rest of the lineup. But given the Model S and X are still in the luxury segment and they're very much leaning more towards becoming more high performance cars and they're not really targeted at the masses. Tesla even said they're just making them for nostalgia reasons. So the Model 3, though, that's still going to be a big part of their bread and butter moving on forward. So knowing that the Model Y potentially had this new wiring infrastructure on the inside, and we'll know for sure in the coming weeks once people actually start getting those delivered, and once some people are brave enough to start tearing them apart, look inside and see what's different internally, which Elon Musk has said that we should expect some internal massive changes. I expect one of those to be the wiring infrastructure that is supposed to be a lot lower than that of the Model 3, but outside of will Tesla make more efficient ways of manufacturing the Model 3 is will they actually bring the costs down of this mid-size sedan so that more people can buy it, or do they just kind of pocket that cash and keep the prices where they are? I know from a consumer's point of view, you just want to say, no, they have to bring the prices lower, that way I can afford one faster, and don't get me wrong, I'm totally in that department too, because I don't have one yet, and if they made them a whole lot cheaper, then the time in my life where I do get one would be a lot sooner. So I completely get why so many of you want the Model 3 to just get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. But from a business standpoint, Tesla has made it very, very clear from the beginning they cannot make these things fast enough. They don't have any issues with demand, and it's not necessarily true that as soon as you just start selling more of a vehicle at a lower price, that instantly translate into more profit. Tesla might be kind of maxed out right now, especially with battery production, and they're working on ramping that, and we'll probably hear a lot more about it at Battery Investor Day, but if they're not capable of scaling their production amounts right now, and they're kind of producing as many vehicles as they can at their factories, then lowering the price may not be in their best interest, you know? What may be in the best long-term interest for Tesla is kind of pocketing that profit of manufacturing cars more efficiently, so it doesn't cost them as much to produce a Model 3, but they're going to keep charging the same amount that they're charging now. That means more money for Tesla. They don't have to offset the prices and get customers all confused again, but they can take that profit and reinvest it into the company, probably in ramping battery production, so that in time, once they are ready to scale vehicles more massively, and they are ready to take on way more customers than they're taking on right now, then sure, that's when eventually the prices may start coming down. And there may be a form of that transition process I just pitched to you going on as we speak, but I definitely think it would help Tesla's image in marketing if they were actually able to get that standard range plus configuration way down below 40K. I don't think it's really fooling anyone that it's 39,990. Okay, it's 10 bucks under 40 grand, and there's gonna be a dozen fees and destination charges and registration and sales tax and all that. So we all get it's well over $40,000 for the cheapest on website Model 3. We know that standard range one is kind of behind the scenes and it's kind of awkward. So if Tesla could actually deliver a regular standard range Model 3 that had the 250 miles of range and of course started at $35,000, the press would definitely have a hard time drilling them for that. And of course, the ultimate benefit that Tesla cares the most about, there would be more people able to afford electric cars. That would be safer for everyone to drive around on the road and it would move us more towards that sustainable energy dependence. But to play devil's advocate here and to argue as to why the Model 3 may get cheaper, perhaps significantly this year is the introduction of the standard range Model Y. It's kind of in an awkward stage right now because originally when Tesla unveiled the Model Y, they said the standard range was gonna start at 39 grand. Now the dual motor, 
where all-wheel drive ended up being about 2k more than originally promised so if we apply that to the model y lineup that means standard range model y should start around 41,000. but if that's the case it's going to be only one thousand dollars more than the model 3 standard range plus so tesla could go about this very different ways for one they could just delay the standard range model y for a long time maybe make a standard range plus version of the model y so that they can price it a lot higher than the model 3 because the model y is kind of better than the 3 in almost every metric you know it's more practical it's got more cargo space it's also just more new it's got a hatchback a powered lift gate and that panoramic glass roof there's a bunch of advantages to the tesla model y as i've talked about in previous videos so if the model 3 and the model y were that close in price pretty much everyone would just opt for the model y and maybe tesla's okay with that but they probably also don't want to kill the sales of the three businesses don't want to have too many products overlapping in similarities and we all know the model y and model 3 already have a lot so keeping the prices apart from each other would kind of give reason for the model 3 to still exist so if they were able to bring the price of the model 3 down to something like 36 grand or maybe 35 grand for that standard range option that still retains autopilot and the 250 mile range and everything then it would make more sense for the model y standard range to start at around 41 to 42k because that would be a pretty massive price difference so people would still see the purpose of the standard range model 3 just being the cheapest tesla available and the model y will be still somewhat affordable but definitely more expensive than the model 3 but you're getting all these extra benefits along with it so with the model 3 at its current price point i don't really see the model y launching a standard range option that would be cheaper than the model 3 that would be kind of surprising and may not be good for the assembly line of standard range plus for the model 3 because very few people would be ordering that one so more than likely they're gonna do something with the model 3 this year i'm hoping the price goes down because there were several times last year where they just kept upping it upping it more and more and more when they switched over to the white paint by default the price went up when they updated the range across the vehicles the price went up and then later the price went up just for no reason they didn't change anything in the car they just increased the price and that kind of sucks when people are in the market and trying to save up money for it and then they just see their dream car suddenly gets more expensive overnight and i'm sure full self-driving is going to increase in time so i'm betting the price is going to go down this year at least by around three grand but what do you guys think let me know what you're thinking down below thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next one take care